Hey guys, Gary here. Thanks for watching. So uh, today, uh, first things first, we'll talk about this awesome Mooney hat, right? Uh, so there's a dude on Facebook making these. He goes by the uh, code name Slangvel, and uh, I'm gonna put a link down here. And if you are interested in a cool ass boonie hat, he does like short brims like this one or the regular long brims. I have some mesh in there. Inside there's a map pocket and a signal panel and stuff. Interested in having a custom boonie hat made in a ton of different colors, follow the link. All right, but the product we're here to talk to you today about is the Rockwell Tactical uh, IFAC. And uh, a lot of you guys know, uh, we always recommend carrying medical gear on you. Uh, sometimes, you know, hey man, if you don't know how to use it, that's cool. Maybe the person who does know how to use it is here without any tools to use. But absolutely, absolutely recommend getting training on that as well. Uh, so, uh, a lot, most of the time, the way that I carry my stuff uh, in a on my chest rig, there's a pouch that's dedicated for medical gear, and it is roughly the size of like a double to triple m4 pouch like in between those two and uh, so i carry my medical gear on a pullout tray and uh right now i think it's uh, like a uh, somebody's pullout tray and it slides in and out of there just fine but uh, i bought it completely on stock so what i did is i bought uh, a ventilated operators kit from tactical response and i put that stuff, I took it out of the bag and I put it in the tray and then I supplemented it with some other things as well because uh, as I've been saying for a long time, the VOC is the absolutely most affordable uh, medical kit on the market. It just, I wanted more. That's designed that way on purpose so that uh, more people have affordable access to some medical gear. Uh, what Rockwell did with theirs is they made it more of the Rolls Royce of medical kits. So the things that I would nor normally supplement a VOC with, uh, they have optional to come right along with it. And it comes in the pullout tray. So you get the pullout tray, like I have to have already, and all the stuff that I need, and some extra stuff that I want, all in one. So now here in the, uh, coming up on summer of 2016, the uh, base kit, is 115 bucks or somewhere in that neighborhood and it's the pullout tray stocked with a bunch of stuff and there are things that you can upgrade as you go and we're going to talk about that as we go over it so uh here is the kit that we're talking about uh this is what it looks like this is the pullout tray comes out of the pouch uh it is designed to fit a double M4 pouch. It fits in my pouch. It's like a double M4.4 pouch. Awesome. Uh, but it comes with, and you can get this in black or coyote. Uh, I got the coyote one. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open it up. Velcro is shut. has a red handle to pull it out with. And inside is our assortment of gear. So let's see what kind of gear is in here. And then we'll also talk about the upgrades as well. So there are some coolly blacked out Ninja uh, trauma shears, some rubber gloves, OD. Here we have a, uh, so there's one Izzy bandage, which wow, an H bandage, I think puts more pressure on a wound. The Izzy bandage is smaller, it fits in more places. Um, then we have, uh, we get to our first upgradable component. Uh, it comes with some compressed gauze, uh, which is always good, but you can upgrade for a fee to uh, some Celox uh, Z Fold gauze. And that stuff, super recommended, but you pay for it. So that is your chance to upgrade from standard gauze to hemostatic agent gauze. Uh, next, moving along, uh, comes with a SWAT T tourniquet, and we are at upgrade number two that's available. You can upgrade to a soft T wide tourniquet, so it's your choice of the smaller uh, SWAT T or the larger soft T. Uh, I also run a couple cat tourniquets on the outside of my rig, so just for knowledge there, uh, while you can't get a cat as an upgrade, it is another option. It's, it's very viable. Uh, comes 
with a Sharpie for notating any uh, things like what time that I put the tourniquet on or anything else you may need to write down about your patient. There is a, an NPA with lubricant, pretty normal. Uh, we have some duct tape, roll uh, flat back on top of itself. There is this, let's see if I can't get it unfolded here, tactical combat casualty care card. So you can, see if I can show you that there, uh, label uh, everything you can about a patient in case you are not there to verbally pass the patient on to the next person who's going to provide a higher level of care, you can at least leave some notes. Uh, there is also a uh, chest decompression needle and this uh, uh, 14 gauge, three and a half inches long. I'm not going to open it up because it is sealed and sterilized. Uh, it does is the kind with the catheter on it. So worst case scenario, you can use it once the needle comes back out and the catheter stays in. You can use the needle again if you need to. So I like that. I like that. Although again, they are more expensive and you're paying for it. Uh, last thing I'm. Uh, oh no, there's another one here. Uh, an aluminum eye cup, uh, which is used for uh, protecting the eye if there's an eye injury, or if you want to be a pirate. Arr. But. There is a bowl and chest seal in here, as you can see that there. And this is the other area where you can upgrade to the Sentinel chest seal. Uh, I have had one of these out of the package and stuck them on someone and uh, pulled off some chest hair. I have not tried the new Sentinel one. It is much flatter and more compact than the Bolin is, but it is an additional upgrade. Uh, so you have all of that inside your pull-out tray. So what I, re I really like what they did here, they took all the things that uh, I've always said should be in there, they added a couple of extra things like the uh, eye guard and shears in it instead of adding shears to it, uh, added a, an actual chest seal instead of using uh, any non-permeable uh, piece of wrapper or whatever as a uh, a dressing which works just fine but one that's sticky is, is bound to work easier even though it still comes with duct tape in case the sticky doesn't work so they they put everything that you could want in it in an actual pull-out tray so that you don't have to build it yourself and made it upgradable in case you wanted some higher end stuff if you had the money if not it is still semi-affordable uh, it is not the cheapest thing on the market but it comes with more stuff um jared the owner of rockwell is a friend of mine uh and uh when I, he told me about this, I was actually pretty excited. Uh, although I think he said something about offering these in Gary Gray. Uh, but flat, dark, earth, or black, good way to go. Uh, like I said, $115 is how, the price of it right now. It's most base model. If you upgraded all three things, I think it comes with about 200 bucks. So if you only upgrade some of them, it's somewhere in between there. And if you go to the website, which there is a link right down here where you can buy these at, uh, you can you know, mix and match and see what it is that you like and whether or not, uh, which one you want. Uh, if you happen to order one in the little comment box, make sure you tell Jared that I sent you because, well, it doesn't get you a discount and it doesn't really do anything for me, but you might as well tell him that this video did some good. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, take it easy and I'll see you guys later. Hey fuckers, I am here with my good friend Brian. Say hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Uh, so you have a YouTube channel. I do. What's it called? Shoot Videos. And do you know why these guys aren't watching your videos? I, you should be watching them, okay? Right. It, it, it's me doing some randomness, okay? That's... Like cool randomness. Cool randomness, yeah. Basically, when I was coming up, well, people would say, hey, you should do a YouTube channel. You know, I got a lot of friends who do YouTube channels, and... Uh, and I said, you know, I will, but I want to have an appropriate name. I want to have a, a pretty recognizable uh, logo, I guess you could say, and a relevant closing line. So when I close my video out, I can end it with rather than something like other than saying, oh, okay, bye. You know, hmm, so, yeah. Something, yep. something kind of catchy. I think he's making fun of my, my sign off. But uh, <laughs> so, like, so there's some gun stuff. There's some gun stuff. What other kind of stuff? Car, uh, I have a car. Sometimes I throw yeah. that in some videos. Yeah, uh, I, I noticed. 
It's, I have a car too. It doesn't really make it into videos. You should put your Explorer <laughs> in the videos. Well, I have to be able to drive it somewhere. <laughs> uh, so, but it's cool shit like that. Yeah. And uh, you're on, yeah. you're on Instagram. Instagram, same thing. Shoot videos. Shoot videos. Shoot videos. Uh, any other than social media platforms? Instagram and YouTube. You don't Instagram. twit. I don't twat. No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. No twit twat. Okay. And uh, the book face. You don't do the book face. There's no book face. Okay, no, no problem. So just, uh, YouTube, Instagram, shoot video. You fuckers need to be watching that shit. Shoot videos. All right. So I'm gonna say take it easy, and Brian's gonna say. Until next time, load your cameras, load your guns, and get ready to shoot videos. Nice.